Hello everyone, this is Tyler with My Computer Works, and if you've been locked out of your iPhone before, suddenly you can't download apps, or you're getting annoying constant pop-ups telling you to sign into your Apple ID, don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna help you out showing you how to reset your Apple ID password two different ways. Not only from your iPhone directly, but also from your browser by using your PC at home. Before we jump in, if you find this video helpful, please make sure to go down below and hit that like and subscribe and share the video with friends, especially any friends who have iPhones who might run into this issue. And if you have trouble with the video following the steps, give us a call here at My Computer Works. The number is always at the beginning, into the video and down in the description. We'd be happy to help. All right, so let me show you the first method, which is I think the easiest way, and that is to reset your Apple ID password from your iPhone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the settings button. I'm gonna look for my name at the top, tap on my name, scroll down until I find sign in and security right here. I'm gonna tap on that. Once I open this up, it's going to give me an option to change password by simply tapping on the change password option. You can see it right here under security, right by two-factor authentication. Uh, we can turn on change password, okay? When you hit that, it's going to ask you for your iPhone passcode, the one that you use to sign in. See here, it asked me for my face ID. It's not recognizing me because I recently shaved my face, which I might go over in another video how to recalibrate uh, or redo your uh, face ID when it's not recognizing you after you shave or make a change to your face. So yes, that is how you change it. Normally now I would just hit try face ID again until I get the enter passcode option. I'm gonna enter my passcode. And once my passcode is in there, I'm gonna be able to make a new password. You can see here, it's got a new password section where I can choose a secure password, obviously one that I can remember or I can write it down, save it in my password manager. And I've changed my Apple ID password directly from my phone. Now remember, when you make this change, it's going to reset it all over every device. So it may ask you to sign back in on things like your Apple TV, your uh, Mac computers, your iPads, or if you have like Apple Watch, iCloud for Windows, things like that, might ask you to sign back in because that password has been changed. That is normal. Now part two, this is done on your computer. If you can't get into the iPhone or the iPhone is having issues or you don't have it, maybe you lost it and you need to reset your Apple ID password, uh, using your PC is gonna be the second easiest method, okay? So on your computer, open a web browser like Chrome, Edge, or Firefox, and we're gonna go to iforgot.apple.com, okay? Once you get here, enter the email address or phone number for the Apple ID account type the security characters and hit continue. Apple will then give you a reset option, which may include having to confirm a trusted phone number. That's where you might run into some trouble. You wait a few minutes, it might let you in, and then um, it might let you, let you just reset it right there on the website. So that is how you would do it from your computer. Now let's talk about some common issues you might run into while trying to do this from either the phone or the PC. One of the more common issues you might run into or one of this, uh, the issues that we see a lot is maybe you don't have access to the trusted phone number anymore, okay? And if that happens, you can look for an option that, that it'll say something like, uh, don't have access to the phone anymore. That'll bring you to Apple's instructions uh, for Apple recovery. Sometimes they'll let you do like a form or you have to upload information. Um, it might also keep asking you for old passwords. Okay. This is normal right after you change the password. Um, it might ask you to, you know, type in an old one. Here's what to do. Restart your iPhone. Um, it should then ask for the new one or go to settings and make sure you're signed into the proper Apple ID account. That happens a lot. I see where people have multiple Apple accounts sign into the wrong one on the phone and then that causes issues, okay? Another thing that you can do is go into your uh, settings, go to App Store, sign out, then sign back in on both the App Store and in the uh, the phone settings, okay? From, from where the name would be into the iCloud, okay? Now, um, if your Apple ID has been locked for security reasons, that usually happens after too many login attempts, okay? The best option in that situation is gonna be just wait a little bit, um, or try to reset it from the computer like we talked about before. 
And that is it. That's how you reset your Apple ID password um, either directly on your iPhone or online. And I know some of the uh, troubleshooting tips for the problems that might come up seem like, you know, vague and like they might not be that great. And, and it's hard to be honest. Apple system is kind of locked down. It is what it is. If they want you to do something like they want you to get a number from a phone, kind of just got to try to get it that way. Otherwise, you may be forced to go into an Apple store. Don't forget, one of the nice things about Apple is they do have stores that you can still go into and get help directly from an Apple associate or App Apple technician that they might have on hand in case they need to do something like reset the phone uh, or give you hands on help with a broken Apple account, which can happen. Apple ID accounts, they can break. There can be issues in the background that Apple actually needs you uh, to address. So you, you can always reach out to them. They do have support chats online and things like that. Uh, but again, sometimes just going into the Apple store is the best uh, method, okay? Now, if you enjoyed this video, again, please hit that like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends so that they can get the same help you did. And to stick around and see more tech tips, make sure to hit the subscribe, okay? That's the way that you get to see for uh, future videos. And if you hit the little bell down there, um, that'll give you notifications. You'll know when we make new videos. And uh, if again, if you need help getting back into your Apple account uh, or fixing your iPhone or just iPhone issues in general or Apple devices across the board, Windows devices, we help with that here at My Computer Works. Please reach out to us. We would be happy to help. Thanks for watching again, and I will see everybody on the next one.